Hello everyone, welcome to Laratis. In our previous video, we looked into this filters section. But in today's video, we'll be refactoring our code. We'll be refactoring to composables using separate JavaScript files for delete module and filters module. And before starting this video, I'd like you to introduce to this whole series sponsor, which is Cloudways. Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform which focuses on your business and avoid all the web hosting hassles. Cloudways will take care of the server setup for you. And you can go live in minutes using the Cloudways. You can select any one of these applications like WordPress, Laravel, PHP, etc. And you can host those in any one of these server like DigitalOcean, AWS, Vulture, Google Cloud or Linode. And also you can scale your server size as you need using the simple and easy user interface. You can use the link below to subscribe to Cloudways. And if you do so, you will get $15 as a credit. And you can use that $15 to set up a base server. And it will last you almost a month, which means that you are getting one month free. Now let's get started. Let us first refactor the delete module. We have this delete module. So let us go here. And let me go here inside this resources JS and inside this admin, let me create composables folder. And inside that composables, I'll create use delete item dot JS. Here, let us export a default function. Now, let me copy this delete code up to here. Let me cut it from here and paste it over here. And here we are using this inertia and ref. Let us import those as well. I'll just copy this, paste it over here. And again, I'll copy this also and paste it over here. This watch is not being used and this on mounted is also not being used here. So we'll remove those. Now we have this delete model. So delete model handle delete item and we'll return this from here. This is very, very simple as you might think that it will be very complex, but it is not. It is very, very simple to do this. So here I'll just return this delete model. We also need this item to delete. We also need this is deleting as well. And so delete model also, I guess we need. And if we don't need any one of these, then we'll just remove these. Okay. From here. Okay. We are returning these things. Now let me import that here. Import use delete item from at the rate slash composable slash use delete item dot js now we can use this over here let's say const like this whatever the things that is returned from here these things we are returning an object so we can use those over here so let me just copy all everything from here and paste it over here like this this delete model we are using it over here if you see here in the model and also this item to delete also we are using here we are getting the name from here similarly is deleting this is also being used here in order to show deleting or delete button also to disable the button also it is being used and so delete model also i think it is being used yeah it is being used over here and similarly if you just see here handle delete item this is also being used over here. So we need all of those. And you can see here that long code has been just reduced to this six or seven lines of code. Let me save it. And I think I have already run this yeah, NPM run watch over here. Now let me come here and refresh the page over here. Let me create a new role. And let me open the console over here. And now if I try to just delete it, we can see this delete role. And if I click here, then our role is also deleted, which means it is working perfectly fine. Now let us refactor these filters similar to that of the use delete item. Let us say here use filters.js. Now here we'll export default a function and we'll copy everything that is related to the filters from here. Okay, I have copied. Let me copy this from here and paste those over here. And here also we are using this ref and we are also using inertia. So let me just copy those from here and I'll paste those over here like this. Are we using any other thing over here? No. So that's okay. I think we are using watts over here as well. Yeah. Watts 
and let us see over here so this unmounted also i think we are using over here so use filters yeah we are using it over here so we need that as well also let us return what we need return like this and we need these filters and i think we only need that okay let me go here and let me import that use filters and here i'll say const use filters like this and whatever we have returned from there we can just destructure it filters like this and i think we are using it over here like this let me just double check that if we are using this fetch items over there or not we are not using i think we are not using over here because we are watching the changes on the filters yeah so let me go here and what are the things that we need to pass over here is so if you just see here props these filters we need to pass okay so here i'll just say params and i'll just destructure it okay const let's say filters as default filters and i'll say params like this we will pass filters from wherever we are using this use filters and we'll use default filters here inside this js file so here instead of props.filters we'll say default filters and are there any things that we need to pass let me just check over here and clear timeout okay i think everything is good over here so now let me go here in the index file and let me just pass here props dot filters like this and let me also check here in this use delete item do we need anything over here that is needed to be passed okay i don't think anything is needed to be passed regarding the props but of course we need to pass this thing also because we are going to use this for every other resources as well so we don't want these roles to be hard coded over here but first let us check the filters let me save it and let me just refresh the page over here and we are seeing some error over here cannot read the properties undefined oh yeah i think we need to pass here object not this so here we'll just say filters and like this because if you look here inside then we are accepting params which is an object okay now let me refresh the page over here then we don't have the error in the console and now if i just show here content like this then it is working perfectly fine because we are getting this and this is also appearing over here and also let me search for admin like this then also it is working perfectly fine which means our refactoring worked perfectly fine but we need to do some more refactoring because we don't want that rules to be hard coded in our composable files so let us go there and let me also say here resource name let's say route resource name okay and we'll pass this from here so here we'll say route resource name will be roles like this and similarly we need to pass that from here as well let us first fix that in this use filters so wherever we are using these roles we'll use that so here i'll just say here like this route resource name and this will be here like this we'll make it dynamic if we see anywhere role being used we'll replace that with this so let me go to use delete item also here also just do it like this and just remove this and add this tick sign and we don't have any role being used over here let me save it and come here and refresh the page and i think everything is working fine admin yes filter is working fine also let me add new role and let me try to delete it but it is not working fine route resource name is not defined oh yeah so let me go to this use delete and i think we forgot to yeah right here params and i'll say have const params like this and here i'll write here route resource name i'll save it refresh the page try to delete it then everything is working perfectly fine now let us see what we can refactor furthermore so let's see i think everything is 
fine over here we are not writing role over here so here also we are not writing role so i think it should work perfectly fine and i think this will also be different for different modules like roles permissions or products so we'll refactor this whenever we implement other crowd features now let me go to index page and here also we can see this roles roles here so many times i think we need to pass this from the roles controller controller so let me go here in the index function and or the index method and i'll say here route resource name will be let's say this route resource name i think we can use this over here also so let me just write here private property route resource name and it will be roles like this and we have used it over here and let me go here in the index and we can write a new props over here so where did the props go over here route resource name the type will be a string and let's say required will be true required now we can use this route resource name over here let's say props dot route resource name and here also we can use props dot route resource name let me go here and refresh the page and let me search here content i think everything is working perfectly fine and let me also create a new role and let me try to delete it as well everything is working perfectly fine and also let us see here whatever the things that we can refactor let's say here role and there are so many things we are using here role we want to make it as dynamic as possible because whenever we write crud for the permission we don't want to edit so many things okay so these roles these are the titles so we can pass that also from here let us pass the title from the top from here title and we can say here roles like this and we can just say here title and here also we can say here title and we'll also just copy this thing and paste it over here and we'll say here title similarly we are passing here roles let's say items and here also let us change this to items and I think we can also change it here at the bottom. Instead of roles, we'll say items. These are the things also that we need to change. So there are two roles now, this and this. So we can write here like this. And we can say here, let me just copy that thing from the props. So here, route resource name. And let me paste it over here. And I'll just replace this with this. And also here, I need to write this over here like this now there is no any place where we have used role text over here I think it is pretty much dynamic but obviously there can be something new that will come whenever we implement other features so we'll just refactor this when they arrive and now let me just save it and we can see here everything is coming up and if I just search for admin it's working fine and let me also create a new one and again let me try to delete it it's working fine let's see the edit features also content writer 2 it's working fine let me just again change it to content writer again yep everything is working fine so i think we have successfully refactored our delete module and filter module and in the next video we'll start the permissions module and it is going to be very very fast because for this first crud i am taking very long time so that i can make you understand everything but in the next crud it will be very very fast so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye